Because they're covering up demons. Uh, this bridge is collapsed, preventing access to another section of the Acropolis. Looks restored before you can cross it. 40 scrap, 10,000 iron bits. I'm not sure if I've ever done that. Ooh, boy! <laughs> Balls deep! Bastion of Chaos! Huh? It's this place. No, I've never been here. My inventory is full. My inventory is full. Fuck. Explains for slow attacks, but was the aether. Monsters are faster, but lower resistance. Thinking that like I'll kill my way through here, I'll leave, then I'll come back so I can actually loot here. Exalted stash. To the explorer, go to spoils. Exceptional explorer, as well. Let's find out what those mean. To the explorer, go to spoils. To open 20 one shot chests. An exceptional explorer. Means open 25 one shot chests. It's odd that I got them both at once, but sure. My inventory I can't is carry full. Anymore. Inventory is My full. Is full. <laughs> yeah, I never did Bastion of Chaos before. Um, personally, I would like to find the way out first. Leave. Clear my inventory like I should have before, and then come back and finish it. I can't carry my inventory. It's full. Inventory is full. be easier for me to notice the bits across the screen, like this, then um, chests. I'm sure I've overlooked plenty of chests, though I've also probably overlooked plenty of items. Also, the tunnel connecting the places. That would be the. Uh, Darkfell Gate, wouldn't it? It's the only tunnel I can think of. Shrine here. Criminal records.
I'll see a star. I got another legendary. Empowered Falcon's Claw. It's slightly worse than what I currently have. But it gives plus 3 to Primal Strike and plus 3 to Torrent. That's nice. That would be... You. And you. So yeah, that's nice. A uh, book... It's a tome of names. This book contains names of every mortal that, that ever was and ever will be. Two to disorientation, two to supercharge, and two to summon a guardian of Empyrean. Unmake, unbesent chance on critical attack. Unravel your foe's existence with a debilitating spell. It's three seconds to go recharge, five second duration, 716 elemental damage, minus 20% physical resistance, minus 20% elemental resistance. Gunning more than slightly for the exit, though. Midway, I don't know where that is. Got a good idea, though. Balak Atu Bloodfeet. Balak Atu Bloodfeet. Thumbs down, feed him to the lions. Oh shit, seriously? The Bastion of Chaos is a ro rogue dungeon. Okay, I'm hesitant in trying to run that because I want to go empty my inventory. And also because the um, outcast might want me to go in there and I don't want to waste more keys than I need. I'm sure I could do it just fine, but. Actually, I would like to gear up a bit more before I were to try and do it. Because, um... Um... I had such difficulty with the first one. Well, I had a bit of difficulty with the final boss of the first one. I'm sure this guy will have plenty of moves, you know? Do I have some, like, passive fear effect or something? Like, what's going on? Or is it inherent to some damage types? My inventory is full. Huh. Kinda end up walking in secret. I'm just glad I'm buddies with the outcasts, so no someone actually gives a damn about me killing all these. How they know I'm killing all these, I don't know, but I'm just glad someone cares. It's nice if you want it.
Where the hell is the exit? Bit left unexplored over here. Oh, also. That is now done. So I'm now missing one red and six blue. Who grabbed Viper? Cunning Spirits and Julie. No. This requires three purple. This gives three purple and three blue. Oh, okay, yeah, I need to hit up Wraith. It bo boosts lightning and aether. And this does both. Also gives you inherent lightning and aether damage. And some, like, inherent lightning retaliation. Uh, energy absorption from enemy spells, offensive ability, eight resistance, retaliation damage, spirit. Yeah, it, it's actually pretty nice. So I can pop a blue, uh, pop four points in there and get stuff. Then I could pop one, two, uh, four, five, six points here. And get fire retaliation, boost all retaliation damage, physique, offensive ability, speed, offensive ability, boost all retaliation damage, armor, fire retaliation, uh, element of resistance, resistance, more fire retaliation, and then 20% chance when hit by melee attacks, 30 second skill recharge, it's 8 second duration, it's 8 second duration, increase movement speed by 15%, 40 uh, percent soul resistance, uh, 420 fire retaliation, and plus 40% all retaliation damage. Okay, it seems this the portal out over here. So yeah, I'll, when I'm done here, I'll have to go wander around and try and find everything. I don't mind finding you earlier. Then it would be with the search would be more you know more fun. So yeah, we've done the Bastion of Chaos outer bit. So we'll go, clean out our inventory, come back, fill our inventory up again, clear it out and, and continue with the other bit. Won't worry about the Bastion of Chaos for now. Uh, like I said, um, I have a feeling the other one might send me in there. I'm also, actually, before I do this, I'm curious. If I go talk to her right now, will she give me the other quest as well? Questions. Why do the soldiers despise you so much? They consider my abilities beyond natural. The power to divine the future is a skill attributed to witches, a tyrant that carries with it much stigma in er on. Soldiers would much rather see me burnt at the stake than see me standing at the war table. Then now why are you helping them? Is it so strange to think that I wish to do my part? The Black Legion may wa very well be humanity's last hope for survival. I wish to ensure that this hope remains alive, even if they may hate, uh, hate me for it. So you're a witch. Not a term for her, but yes, that is what they call me. I'm a sorcerer, skilled in manipulating the aether to my will, but I've also studied the art of divination, which is, so I suppose, where the superstitious soldiers draw their ire. Everyone claims they want to know the future, until they actually hear it. It's difficult to separate the bad from the good when so much pain awaits a mortal in their lifetime. What do you do here? Much of what I used to do uh, before, the Legion, uh, before I came to the Legion. I tried to divulge 
uh, future from the rituals taught to me by my predecessors. I admit I'm not always right in my divinations, but none in the Legion can deny the information I provided. I, not, at least not without denying the lives that were saved. Your predecessors. What? Do you think I just sprouted from the earth and knew all that there is so knew uh, all that there is to sorcery? I was taught uh, the art through years of arduous training and practice. Fair point. You'll see a lot of things people are just self-made, if you get me. So. This is my best run of Grim Dawn so far. <sighs> I'm really happy with it. Yeah, I made a lot a great great loss on those. It's fine though. Uh, it's the armor plate, um, ancient armor plating there that's let me wear them. And actually, I can't take those off. I lose a huge chunk of cunning. I don't need to hurt my cunning any further than I already am. That's nice to see that it's gone up there. Still, it can always be higher. Spirit does better for me in terms of damage, but it doesn't boost my offensive or defensive ability. Hmm, 25 to offensive. I'm happy with what I got. Given what I use, I can easily sell off just like, oh, here's one hand weapon, just sell it off. It's, it's a nice feeling. I have to go through every bit and take a look at it, you know? Want to raise scouts? Criminal Records, page 2. Buddy Jack. 
reckless murderer and known worshipper of Solal, the heathen god. Reports have been received of Bloody Jack's signature murders, a car of trout and witch symbols etched into the left breast, appearing increasingly close to Burwich. Citizens are advised to avoid, avoid travelling alone and steer clear of forest roads whenever possible. News of sightings or, or proof of death to be brought up before Warden Krieg, a Burwich prison. Um, a, a reward of 400 royal crowns is offered for the successful capture and delivery of Bloody Jack alive. Hmm. Interesting. Did the cost to get up here, I think it meant I never entered this bit. So, um, like the bar for entry is pretty str stringent. So that's page one of the uh, records. No, page two, I should say, sorry. Uh, let's paint one around here somewhere. Also, do I get to end up getting to fight Bloody Jack? Fair, if he's just a serial killer. Well, I suppose he's one that's doing it in honor of a god. Might, might make him a bit dangerous. they've robbed all these houses and buildings from, you know? Mustn't be anywhere we've seen, because due to the state they're in, you know? I figure we'll... Unless they, you know, got like this once they got here. Like, we'll see bits of them left all over the place. Or, you know, like, even then, the, the, it'll be obvious that a, a fucking house was stolen, you know? Most time when you see, f you know, f uh, glitters on the ground, um, sign of loot, like a tink to break. Most of the time. Hmm, impressed with the candle still going. Loot. So much loot, so little time. So off 
Griffin just keeps stop deci uh, deciding not to respond. Very annoying when you're trying to play this or well any game really, you know. I think it could just be the batteries, though obviously I can't be certain. Gubbins. I'm not complaining, it's just saloons go on forever. And I feel like I'm going to run out of inventory, st uh, inventory space before I'm actually done here. Also, I am somewhat annoyed that I can't find the other page. Maybe it's within the dungeon. Like, I got a page 2 there. Um, I need page one. I can't carry it. I can't. I can't. I can't carry, I can't carry, it, anymore. carry it anymore. Okay, and is that it? Not going in there, uh, not yet. Again, like I said, what's her face might send me in here next. So I'd like to be do, just doing it in the one run rather than having to run multiple times. So to be fair, if it's an accepts like torment, the final boss will drop a bit of kit. You know, I have a chance that you know it's own legendaries. Very tempting to just say fuck it and slap this on. Very tempting. Would mean I lose a ton of elemental damage though. Which would be sad. I suppose I could hold on to it. Just not sell it. Ah, 
And I could hold on to that too. Slap that on. Okay, I'm going to stop again for a sec. Hey, folks, and I'm back. Uh, buddy, how I'm getting tired. Uh, it's now 20 past 3. I think I might call quits now. But, uh, before I do, um, I'll do a bit more. New patch actually came out. Didn't even realize. Updated a few things, changed stuff around. Um, most of it's irrelevant to me. Apparently, increased the area level range as a normal slash veteran difficulty. So that players entering the Arcovian foothills and beyond after completing Forgotten Gods campaign will have more suitable challenge. I think that means I can go. Act I could actually go farm Cromwell's people. Uh, Cromwell's people now. Hmm, could take a look. They've also changed up some relics. Um, some crafting. Faction, Bezimo's Grasp, increased um, I a cold damage modifier for Summon Briar Torrent, 40%, replaced percentage speed for pets with 15% attack speed. Sounds cool. And there's a changes like legendary non-sets, then uh, set items, I should say. Uh, legendary non-set items. And then legendary set items here. Uh, most of these go above my head. But one that is interesting here is th the devotion changes. Uh, the Hound. Removed physical retaliation and retaliation for pets. Increased a percentage all retaliation to 70%. Increased he uh, percentage health for pets to 12%. Do I have this? Yeah, okay, so... Uh, it just it has an update queued. So I wasn't entirely sure. But yeah, I do have this. Hmm, that's sad. Because I had no actually no inherent retaliation damage. It's just making the hound that bit worse for me. Could justify dropping the tree hound points. Because I now have fourteen. It's more enough to sustain these guys. So um I could drop take the tree. Slap him into here. And then for, uh, slap him into here. They also changed Messenger of War. It used to have physical retaliation, now it has fire, as we've seen. Rat now has 50 acid retaliation. Um. Apparently, the Wolverine, which I've been looking at before. Um, removed physical retaliation and retaliation for pets, increased percentage all retaliation to 80%, and added 8% vitality and poison resist for pets. Um, Wretch replaced chaos retaliation with acid retaliation. Um, Bezmo's command, the thing I had, summoned pet now re also reduces all resistances with its attacks. Uh, rate added 20% all retaliation damage and 1 to 70 lightning retaliation. Raise the dead. Some skeletons now also reduce all resistances with their attacks. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, there's a few changes there. They've also changed um, some of the class. Is uh, ground slam spines now pierce through enemies, replaced internal trauma with bleed damage. Pact a, a Modrigan's pact added percentage physical damage bonus for pets. Uh, Heart of the Wild added percentage health regeneration. I'm just reading the patch notes here that are on Steam. Uh, oak, oak skin replaced a percentage health regeneration with percentage aether resist. Nice. Raging Tempest increased uh, percentage elemental resist reduction scaling at ultimate ranks to minus 45% by max ultimate rank. Okay. Uh, Savagery. Fix an issue where percentage weapon damage scaling at map ultimate ranks did not actually increase damage, as the skill was balanced around this bug and is now fixed with just weapon percentage weapon da damage scaling at ultimate ranks. This is a net buff. Necromancer. Dread. Replace Chance of Terrify with Chance of Confusion. Ill Omen. Replace Chance of Terrify with Confuse. Necrotic Edge. Replace Chance of Terrify with Chance of Confuse. Reap Spirit. Significantly increased percentage of weapon damage and increased vitality decay damage, scaling with rank. Increased ra uh, rate du uh, duration to eight, 18 seconds. That'll be... this. This be 12, I think. So, yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, th these came out. They're planning a, a few updates like this, and I think a few little bits of content. Nothing big anymore, but you know, a little bit. Hmm. Just having a look at the dev dev updates here. Click on their link and I'm instead redirected to a suggestion. That's bizarre. It was meant to be directing me to the dev update stuff. That's bizarre. Um, they're apparently updating the look on some of the older sets and they do look fantastic. Like, seriously, go look up um, Grim Misadventure uh, 159. It looks great, the sets here. Also, it seems, you know the big buff guy in the pictures? He is actually a character here. In the thing. So, um... It's not like that random occultist in the base game voting screen. He's actually someone. Uh, he's B Riggs, it seems to be his name. Guessing by context here. And apparently the storyline with Riggs will lead to in the fifth roguelike dungeon. So there's four currently in the game, but we know of three of them. Bastion of Chaos, Port Val, Bra Val, Val Bury, and Steps of Torment. I guess one, the fourth one must be Ash of the Malmout. Riggs' thing is the one for Forgotten Gods. Next one, next update is coming out on the 13th to the 5th. Couple days from now, it's currently the eight. Um, uh, just shy of a week. Uh, five days. All right. But yeah, basically, update came out, changed around a few things, got rid of terrify and changed it to confuse. Not entirely sure on what that means, the difference and all that. 
and we still seem to be running away. Maybe they're just changing the timing without changing the actual effect. Oh, actually, let me just open this up. I need to flag the last 10. Anyway. You can hear me. You could hear the game. Can you? Yeah, you could hear the game. You can hear me. I'm recording, and there's footage. Good. Oh, it's good. It's actually very tempting to, like I was saying, to get everything removed and reapply everything. That skull is still just looks freaky to me. It's like some weird like alien skull. Tempting to slap that on, but um, do I gain any damage? Hmm. That's a chunk of health. That's just got the mark of Modrigan. It was a fair chunk of offensive ability. Hmm. Still not too bad, though. So, if I strip off the uh, Mark of Modrigan and slap it onto this, it'll be better for me. Though I don't have Storm Totem. up here, I'd have to get up to 32, which is 7 points away. Then I can summon in Storm Totems. Ah, uh, no. Don't think they really do it for me. Anyway. Um, it's 
like I'm saying, it's very tempting to rejig this. I wonder if there's any good guides. Uh, Grim, Dawn, Shaman, Necromancer. Someone actually tried Necromancer from Nightblade. Hmm. Saying they went two hundred with Nightblade? That negates so much of their tree though. It's ugh, weird. One person did make a good point about Necro being focused on Aether and Vitality, while Shaman's Lightning and Bleeding. Uh, good point there. Though their recommendation of Occultist seems questionable, given the fact that you'd just be using default attack for the entire game. I think it's better off to have a bit of, you know, miss energy rather than generic attack. Hmm. Huh. Someone here, I just... Catching, you know, like as you just like, yeah, you know, and doing a Google search, you see like a bit of uh, what people are typing. Grim Dawn devs disliked Titan Quest net Necro Shotgunner. That sounds cool. Apparently, it could tr three to four shot bosses, regardless of their stats, due to sighted hat. I'm really finding um Maybe I should have to work build in it.
Yeah, this is... Hmm. Could be just looking in the wrong bits, but it seems like a very pain to try and find good builds here. Or, you know, even advice. I was uh, imagining it would be easier. But I did see recommendations towards this. I did see recommendations towards this. It, it would actually be interesting if I, say, dropped Primal Strike and instead grab this. And apparently, it's, if I look this other... reopen the wiki, what would be on? Uh, Grim Dawn... Dawn Weapon Skills... I completely mistyped that. Uh, weapon pool skills. I got it here. Bone harvest. Well, apparently proc. Um. Um. Like reaping strike, necrotic edge, feral hunger, and upheaval. Apparently, you can proc those. So, hmm. Also, actually, Nightblade uh, Necromancer would work, but it would be weird to go two-hander with them, given all the dual-wielding stuff Nightblades have. I suppose I could have tried Necromancer Soldier. I mean, now I'm just getting, you know, buyer's remorse. I had a you know, I was fine until I saw people saying, oh no, it's terrible. <sighs> well, it's too late. I'm way too far in. Uh, I can try it, you know, a different way some other time, but for now I'm stuck with it as it is. Tonic of reshaping. You get it from two rewards, Lost Father and the Feast. Sorry, you get it as a reward from or as a reward from two quests. And tonic of clarity. Desperate measures and a sister's love, as well as a chance for nemesis creatures. Basically it's a free way to get all your devotion points back. Tonic reshaping gives you all your attribute points. So, yeah, I could get rid of Primal Strike, these trees here, and get this instead. You know, actually, you know, take advantage of the whole two-handed necromancer thing. It's actually kind of tempting. It also shifts its cold damage. Which works fine for me, because... At present, you know, I do that all the bonus elemental damage. What the, is this like a present? I will be doing more damage, it seems. So, like, yeah, it does, that's 110%. This is 115. 
Um, piercing, cold, and vitality. This is physical and lightning with a bit of bleeding. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, this can actually trigger, um, no, these. So it's actually is viable, you know? range in this. 2.5 meter. The other thing has a much greater range. Even there, even knock that this off, it would have a 4 meter range. Then you put point in here, it's back up by 2. You know? You know what? I'm tempted, I'm tempted in giving it a try. Let's give this a shot. Instead of an, a cone around me, it's a frontal cone. That looks really cool. Okay, I like the look of that. I like the look of that. What troubles you? you know what, fuck it. I, I will go with that. I'm just like looking at this right now and I'm like, you know, even if I took back every single point. Okay. Well, she told me the total amount that I was after losing. Just do this for sake of effect. Three hundred iron bits to reclaim a skill point. Uh, one of these points. Hmm. Oh, actually, no, that's just because of how much I've damn well returned. <sighs> Ow. But, you know, even, like, let's just leave it at that, 106 points. Oh, removes devotion. Okay, uh, whatever. You know, even if I was to do all this, I wouldn't have a clue what to, you know, really put it all into. It just feels like I'm doing something wrong, you know? 
Like, my character is plenty potent, but it feels like I'm missing something, you know? Like, I'm just always, like, looking at my skill tree and seeing, like, so much isn't maxed out. So much is pretty lacking. Undo. Christ, I'd end up casting a lot. Casting a lot. Like, look at this. How few points are in it. How few points are in this and this. This guy's barely over halfway. It's just a point over halfway. This one is two points in it. This is it's in the same position this is. That had only a point in it and these two. This is for from the end. That's maxed. Yay, that took ages. This is halfway done and that's only a tenth done. It's got a single point in it. You know, that's got its ten points in there. Three in here. One in each of these. Five points left here. Six left here. Eleven left here. Got uh, seven left here. F Eleven left here. Seven left here. Eight left here. You know, there's just so much I have to fill in. It just ends up feeling like I need to like take points back and like rebuild it and like re like with a different priority and focus while well, well, my characters are while well, my character is burly it feels like I'm I could squeeze a bit more out of him if I you know took you know took a step back and like refocus reprioritized it really bugs the shit out of me We'll leave it as it is. And I do actually want to get some use out of this. A safe journey. I also don't have, have an in Storm Totem. Which is like right here. At, oh yeah, I wouldn't be reaching that for a while. This is fine. It's funny I'm using Mark and Modrigan, given that I picked a fight with Modrigan. But anyway. Yeah, anyway, that... I'll deal with that some other time. But yeah, it just feels like I could milk more out, out of this character if I took a step back and, like, reprioritize stuff. You know, try to finish off some more of my buffs, get more points in there, all this kind of thing. Feels like I could get more out of him. Feels like I'm handicapping him. Like, while he's plenty potent, I just feel like... Uh, not potent enough, you know? Then again, I'm probably just feeling like that because of how my characters like end up in a pad of exile, you know? I'm kind of expecting it to happen here. Different uh, effects to what I was um, used to. I'm used to just calling them lightning. But, um. Yeah, I think I can get used to that. This looks awesome. Seriously. 
Also, how could no one think that looked fucking evil? Uh, maybe it's a later on a change. Uh, also, it looks like they're under like a bed of blood over there. Just the like red shadow suspended over them. Hello, boys. I also lose the stun effect, but that's fine, I don't mind. It's dead half in the floor. I can stick with what I have here. Uh, the um, bone harvest. I might, you know, do, uh, do my own thing. Uh, sorry, go back to what I used to have. We'll have to wait and see. Because, like, I, you know, switched to this now, and I think it's okay. But I'm really used to having, you know, primal, primal strike, so I'm prob I may end up going back to that because of you know, that's what I'm used to. So we'll have to wait and see. I might stick with this. I might go against it. Does lo does look flashy? I'll give it that. It does look very flashy. Party of Valor. Normally standing in those triggered um, thing we do demons. Apparently not. God damn fucking eagle ears here on the avoid parasites. They heard me opening opening a chest in the other room. voice on that random uh, mook. But actually, rather creepy. Huh? God damn.
like like I was saying, my character it's not that my character is weak. It's not Um Yeah, it's not that my character is weak or anything. It just feels like I could be, you know, squeezing that bit more potency out of them if I rejig them a bit. Make my minions that bit better, um, have that bit more health, you know. That kind of thing. If I just squeeze them a bit harder, I'll be good. Bane Gal Galagolor, a guardian of the gates. Enemy boss killed, 12,037 XP, 75 rep with the outcast. My god. Just thinking. Uh, bone harvest doesn't really lend itself to the those weapon procs. They have a tendency to cast when it's they're out of range of anyone. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's okay. I don't see any reference to like a uh, minimum range. So if it goes off on an attack, we'll be also able to hit the enemy. So all's good. Okay, never got an enemy stuck on top of a wall before, to my knowledge. Looks cool. Looks silly. I think I might actually call quits uh, before we go fight the Ogorian. Leave it till next time. Just want to play a bit further um, before I do, you know? I feel like I actually made some progress on. Um, the game. But yeah, like I said, it feels like I'm missing something. Here's a loose torch. But, um, yeah, it just feels like my character's missing something. And it does feel weird to have Bone Harvest now after being so used to Primal Strike. You hear the sound of a stone door opening nearby. Kind of reminded me of the DDO and it, its narrator and all that. Torts around out so dramatically, just like sails off to the side. <sighs> All right. Is cool. It's also nice that you can turn the camera. Okay, crypt entrance. Seal the um, Horrigan. Is this place not that deep? I think right now that this place might be um, as deep as I thought. 
Hmm, well, that's comforting. Yakwa Antu. Three thousand nine hundred and sixty five more rep to get unlock the last quest. Still need to go get the book from this quest though. Hmm. <sighs> Worm scale. Wor the worm skills shields grant. Uh, the worm skills shields you from harm. I kind of forgot all about that. That angle caught up too much in the whole skill thing. But yeah, I feel like I could milk more out of my character, but I'm not sure what where to even begin. So I was hoping to see you know some guides, maybe talk about what was there, you know, see what I think, maybe give me some idea, give me some ideas. But yeah, ideas are best, things that write to uh, yoink are worst. Okay, did you say convert or kill? Probably kill. I'm gonna actually leave this here. Oh, well, that's creepy. That's creepy. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this here. Till next time, folks. Love and peace, baby.